How's it going everyone? It's Leo here. Today we're looking at a metal snare drum. Let's get into it. So for a while I've been wanting to upgrade my snare drum. I've been using one of those like cheaper starter kit snare drums and I will make a video on it because I want to show people how you can make it sound amazing but today I want to focus on a great snare drum I got for a great price. For only $109 I bought a pretty big name brand. You might know them. Tama. I bought a Tama Metalworks steel snare and it sounds amazing. Couple quick specs, it's 14 inches by five and a half. Now it is made of steel and it has a really sick matte black finish, so you know it's metal. When I was looking for a snare drum, I always wanted to get my hands on the Pearl Joey Jordison Signature Snare Drum, which is also a steel snare drum. The thing is, it's $200 more than this Tama. Now I will have to eventually get that Joey Jordison snare, but for right now, this is, I think, just as good. Obviously there are gonna be better snare drums out there. Steel isn't like the greatest material for snare drums, but it does work in my favor. First things first, I had to replace the head. Most of the stock drum heads that come on a drum that's brand new are usually cheap garbage made in China. And I said, nope, 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 not using this. First things first, it was a coated head, which I wasn't really going for for this particular snare drum as I already had a coated Evans Heavyweight on my other snare drum. I wanted to get a different snare head. When it comes to snare drum heads, I actually tend to go towards Evans. I love Evans snare heads. Like I said, I have an Evans Heavyweight on my CB Percussion snare drum. And the reason I chose the Evans Heavyweight was because Jay Weinberg from Slipknot uses the Evans Heavyweight. But I didn't want two heavyweights on the drum because I could easily just switch them out if I wanted to go with a different head. So instead I picked up the EC Reverse Dock 14 inch head which is frosted and it has the reverse dot in the center. Now quickly on the back, the good thing about drum heads is you can see what they're really great for. So first thing, it says it's ideal for rock and gospel. And that's actually kind of important because believe it or not, gospel has high tuned snare drums. And that's kind of what I'm going for. And rock because, you know, rock. Now everything's kind of even across the board when it comes to attack, sustain, tone, and durability. Everything is right in the middle, which is totally fine by me. You can't expect a drum head to last forever, first of all. Too much of anything is not always a good thing. So here's what we're gonna do, because we've never really done a snare drum by itself before. First things first, I've already had it tuned up and been recording with it for a while. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually use the Pile PDMI C78 microphone. I've been shooting out between that other Pile snare drum mic that came within the entire kit, which you can watch up here. <laughs> which is my can $100 microphone set sound good. And I actually wanted to go with the PDMIC 78 purely because I listened to some of my older recordings or my most recent recordings and actually really liked the sound of it. So I'm gonna be using that, which is gonna go into the audio interface. So you're gonna hear the dry sound without any effects and then you're gonna hear it with EQ, compression, reverb. I've also just put some duct tape on my snare drum just to take out a little bit of the ringiness and just give it a really nice crisp sound without too much extra noise. That way you can get an idea of what this snare drum sounds like and then I'm going to play you a short little song without any guitars or anything like that. You're going to hear a quick beat. So first, let's get into the snare itself.
pretty awesome snare sound. 109 bucks. Sounds amazing, actually. And here's a quick little demonstration of a full kit with the snare drum. As you can see, for only $109, this snare is pretty awesome. I'm not going to say it's the best snare in the world, but for metal, it's actually really good. For $109, you can get a really awesome rock and metal sound out of this snare drum. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. In an upcoming video, we're going to actually check out that CV percussion snare drum, which is dirt cheap. I don't even know how much they cost by themselves because I got it with my kick drum and hi-hat stand for 50 bucks. So we'll say it costs 25. I'm gonna be making a video on that coming out soon. Be sure to check out my previous videos, including the Will Putney Suite video, the Stevie T Amped video, the previous Power to the Pedal with the VSN Slow Hand, and any of my other videos. They're all relatively pretty good. Christmas is coming faster than you think. We're already in December. Why not get everyone in your family smelling amazing? Go to HeroSoapCompany.com today and use promo code LEO at checkout to get 10% off your first order. You're not only helping me out, you're helping a small business and you're helping a veteran out. Small businesses are definitely taking a hit with the whole COVID virus going around. It'd be greatly appreciated if you could help out a small business. Not only are you helping them out, you're helping a veteran out. These people have given so much for us, and to see them homeless is pretty heartbreaking. Part of your purchase goes to Operation Finally Home, which helps put veterans who are ill, injured, or just homeless into a home. The link will be in the description. Let freedom clean. Don't forget to like this video, hit the subscribe button, Turn on that notification bell so you know when my videos come out. Leave a comment down below to tell me what you thought of this. And don't forget to share with your friends so that they can help this channel grow. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.